Hi, my name's Autumn Miller. You guys might know me from my YouTube channel, Audie's Freestyle Friday, Imagine Dragons, new music video, Bad Liar. I've been on Dancing with the Stars two times. We own the Brea space, so I'm always training there. Dance is very important to me. I think for me, it's expressing my emotions and expressing how I feel in a day. For me, my best dance and my best work has come from the emotions that I feel inside. I didn't really know if I wanted to be a dancer. I always would dance around the house because I knew my mom was a dancer and I knew my mom was a teacher. So I was like, I kind of gonna follow in my mom's steps, but she really wanted me to be a gymnast. I was in gymnastics from like one to like four, I would say. And then she put me in my first dance class and I was like, I'm never changing. This is dance for sure. Seeing people on TV and like seeing dance start become something on TV, I was like, I want to do that. I want to be doing that. For me, one of my challenges growing up as a dancer, I would say, is learning from my mom. Knowing that she wants the best for me and I always want to prove to her my best. I travel with her all the time now and I assist her and it's like the best match ever because I can execute her stuff so well. And I think it was hard when I was young for sure because I was like, mom, I want to do what I want to do, like kind of thing. But going under like her has been like awesome. I have a very unique relationship with my family. I'm actually really fortunate because we all own the studio together. Getting to work together is so special. And we have a launch program, which is like a homeschool, dance, everything you can imagine. Um, we have 20 girls in that, and actually four of them happen to live with me. So we are now a family of eight. It is not just the four of us, so I mean, it's crazy. You can only imagine what happens at my house. But it has been just an amazing journey and being able to like be with different girls and just seeing the way we inspire each other and like what my family has brought to their lives and what they've brought into ours I think has been amazing for us. Dance is very challenging. You have to put a lot of hard work into it. I do Pilates which really helps with my core and just like being super strong in my turns and technical things. Yes, I do train in ballet, but for me, taking Krista Miller, my mother's class, is my technique and my training base. I think it's really important to train. It's really important to eat before you dance. It's really important to stretch and warm up, get enough sleep. I go to chiropractors, physical therapy, just to make sure that I'm doing what's good for me. I need to take care of my body if I want to perform my best. Okay, so not a lot of people don't know this actually. So I've been homeschooled my whole life and I was like, mom, I want to go to high school. Like I want to be a normal kid. I want to go to high school. So she was like, okay, like sure, whatever, go for it. So my freshman year, I went to the school and took one class, okay? I went to one class. I was like, mom, just like some sort of little experience. Hated it, never wanted to go back, but she made me finish out the year. But yeah, it's just not for me. If I wasn't a dancer, I would definitely be a model. I have gotten to do a few modeling jobs, which is very fun for me. I've done Target Justice. It's been so fun and I wish I could do more. Actually, crazy fun fact, somebody told me I looked like Gigi and I freaked out. I was like fangirling. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe somebody just told me I looked like Gigi. Anyways, but I would just love to do modeling when if I get the chance to be in Vogue or do a magazine, that would be awesome. So yeah, hit me up. <laughs> Some of my favorite jobs I've done is actually my most recent, which was Imagine Dragons Bad Liar music video. Getting to work with them was incredible. I mean, I got called the day and you're like, you're flying out the next day. I was like, okay, sure. Like, it's crazy like what things can do and not a lot of dancers get to do what they love in their video. Like I got to do turns and techniques. So that was super special to me. My second favorite would be Dancing with the Stars. I got to appear on Dancing with the Stars two times. Um, that was super fun just getting to work with a ton of different people and being on live show they're like if you get it right you get it right if not that's just what's going out on TV so I think being under that pressure is really important for a dancer too I was like six years old and my dad was just putting up videos for friends and family to be quite honest and it turned into something that never I could imagine it to be this day. I just kind of did me and people enjoyed me and enjoyed my personality. So I think that was like 
fun. I'm honestly embarrassed watching this, not gonna lie. Yeah, this video is probably one of my first videos ever on YouTube. And my emotions in my face, I just can't, what is this? Like the eyes, oh my God, I can't. And my feet and technique, thank you mom. That's something really I'm grateful for because in here it doesn't look very good. But something so funny about this video is I was just so fearless and I didn't care, which I think is amazing. And I need to go back to this some days because sometimes I'm just too hard on myself. And as you can tell here, I did not care. <laughs> I think it's hard because we second guess ourselves a lot because we know a million people are watching this or a million people are gonna judge it. For me, I get negative comments every day. I mean, direct messages. I can't even tell you like, why would you post that? Why would you do this? You look like this, you look like that. And for me, I just have to know that I have such a strong family and amazing friends that really support who I am and what I wanna share with people. The social media world is deep and crazy, but there's also a lot of positive things that come from it. For me, it's brought a lot of exposure to me and teaching jobs and different things. Just seeing kids' stories or people's comments and just being like, you inspired me. You made me feel something. And I think that makes me wanna keep doing it. I just really love the support and positivity that it can bring. I am more than dance because I love to inspire kids and I love kids saying that they are inspired by me. I love to spread positivity and I like to share my craft. I wouldn't want to just keep it in for myself and something people always tell me is I connect with people. They feel something from my dance.